Well, happy birthday, Marines. Hoorah! So why don't we, like, reach across and shake hands with everybody and wish them a happy birthday? I can't see up in the balcony. Are you, com are you complying or are you ignoring us? So I thank you for the opportunity to be with you tonight. When General Hewley called me, it's interesting. I got all these gentlemen here. I used to be my boss. Yeah. So I remember General Johnson from Somalia. He may not remember, but he's a pretty tough guy. <laughs> and uh, we had to go brief him because the president was coming, and we had to do security at this uh, refugee camp. And we stayed up all night. We made this little village out of three by five cards. Copa Ward did, and we went in there. We hadn't showered in like three weeks. We smelled like goats. <laughs> and we went in to brief him, and we went through the whole brief, and he, and all he, he looked at me and goes, when was the last time you slept? <laughs> I'll never forget that. And General Hugh used to be my boss, and I think we're all fortunate to have him here with the Marines Memorial. And the person we're really here to recognize tonight, General Myatt, sir, uh, thank you. I, I don't know if General Myatt remembers this, but I got to 1st Marine Division after Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and I know Ray Cole's here. Uh, and he was involved in all that, and we were, he was a battalion, a regimental commander, but General Myatt was our division commander. And uh, one day, I was the CEO of 3rd, then 3rd Light Armored Infantry Battalion at 29 Palms, and General Myatt came out. Because, I mean, you really got to want to go to 29 Palms. I just came there from there. To... <laughs> Actually, I just came from there today, and I'll tell you a little bit about that later. But he came out, and he spent the whole day with us, with our battalion. And I'll never forget that. And, I, and, sir, I just want to tell you and all the stuff you've done here in the city and all the stuff you've done as a Marine and all the stuff you've done for families and for our veterans and our kids, I don't know how we'll ever repay you for that. But from a, a young battalion commander who got to spend a whole day with their division commander and talk about war fighting and all the stuff we used to go to the field and the stuff we used to do, I'll never forget that. And I'll thank you always. So thank you very much. So if you got a chance to see the video, I mean, the standard birthday pitch is we think about our, our history, our legacy, we think about the past, we think about what Marines are doing today, but most importantly, we prepare ourselves for tomorrow. There's a lot of Marines in here who've got a lot of history of their own, and in the video this August was the 75th anniversary of Guadalcanal. In January, February will be the the 50th anniversary away. Next spring will be the 100th anniversary of Bella Wood. All iconic places where Marines distinguish themselves. And I don't have to remind this audience to think back about those who you knew, who may still be here, may not be here, the places you've been, the friends you remember, the good times and maybe the not so good times. The emotion, the feelings, the sounds, the smells, all those things that go into being a Marine. And I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize our families who allow us to come back from those places and reestablish ourselves and get back to normal and make us understand that, yeah, well, you're a Marine, but you're also a human being and you gotta get back in the world. So it is important that we remember our history, whether it's General Lejeune's message, whether it's thinking about the battles past, whether people you see here tonight that you that you serve with, fought with, got history with. And there's a lot of people in this room, I mean like Mel Spies, Mel Spies and I are second lieutenants together. He was junior, he was a boot, but I just, <laughs> but, but, just saying Mel, sorry. But uh, basically spent over almost 35 years following each other around the Marine Corps. And I'm sure there's other people in the room like that, but our history is what we're celebrating tonight a great history, a legacy of, of, of discipline, a legacy of commitment, a legacy of excellence on a battlefield. Now what do we talk about what's going on today? What's your, what are your Marines, our Marines, not mine? What are our Marines doing today? Our Marine Corps is about 186,000 strong, active, about 38,000 in the reserves, and in, in the active reserve. About 35,000 of those Marines are deployed. 
there's really basically three kinds of Marines, those that are forward deployed, those that just got back, and those that are getting ready to replace them. And it's busy. I wish it weren't that busy. We have the world that we have, not the world we want. And if we're going to have the world we want, it's going to take some effort, not just from us, but from people like Secretary Schultz and our diplomats and other people who are out there trying to set the conditions so that the, the world's a better place. The world isn't always cooperating, and that's when we come in. So whether it's the 22,000 Marines and 3MEF west of the International Date Line tra training on the Korean Peninsula or in the Philippines or helping the Filipinos with their own insurgency uh, at sea underway, the Marines we have back in Afghanistan, we got back in Afghanistan this spring, and we're having a certain amount of success. Um, but it's not, gonna, it's not gonna change overnight. Things in Iraq, uh, we've got a fair number of Marines in Iraq, in Iraq and Syria, and throughout the Middle East, and ship and, and on land and in the air. And we're part of that campaign to defeat uh, ISIS, which is ISIS as a caliphate, not ISIS as an idea, not ISIS as an ideology. That's going to take a lot more work. But ISIS as a caliphate is almost over. But it's not going to end. I wish I could tell you it was going to end. But our Marines are in the middle of that. Whether we're in Africa, whether we're at ships in the Mediterranean, we got Marines in Romania, we got Marines in, in Sigonella, we got Marines in, in Maron, Spain, we got Marines in Norway. And then we've got the Marines back at home. We just had a group of Marines go down to Puerto Rico in the, in the Caribbean for the disaster relief. There were a lot of re Marines involved in the, the first hurricane that hit Texas, many of them reserve Marines, on their own time, mobilized and got out there and helped people, rescued them from the floods and helped from home. So, We've got a good Marine Corps. We're not perfect. We have stuff we've got to work on. As I mentioned, I was just at 29 Palms. Most of the people in this room will remember exercise we call CACs or Combined Arms Exercise. Now it's called ITX, uh, Improved Training Exercise. And we're back. You know, if, you know, if I took you out there, General Johnson, if I took you out there, General Myatt, General Spies, you'd probably go, this is just like it was when I left. <laughs> because it's Combined Arms. It's air, artillery, fires and consonants with maneuver. There are some new things out there, some new capabilities, but it's blocking and tackling. It's doing the stuff we need to do to get ready to take on whoever decides they want to test us. But then tonight is really for those of us that wear, still wear the cloth, it's about the future. Time to recommit. I got, a, I got a birthday card from a Marine Corps League Auxiliary, a bunch of uh, female former Marines, uh, wishing, uh, wishing the Marine Corps happy birthday. It was very nice from Senate, but there was a great quote in theirs from an anonymous Marine. He says, I took an oath. There is no expiration date. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and I know the people in this room feel the same way. And there is no expiration date. You know, there is no quit. There is no give up. There is just grind it out, go forward, try to get better, do what we got to do. We're blessed with being able to still be able to recruit young men and women who want to earn the title Marine and are willing to, to submit to the discipline, the grind, the hard work that it takes to, to live this life. It's not easy. It's not easy for the Marine. It's not easy for the family. I don't have to tell this audience that because many of you have lived that life and you know maybe better than I because of what you've done and where you've been, what it takes to serve our core, to serve our nation. And there is a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of politics. And, you know, in the battle space that I operate in, the city of Washington, um, <laughs> well, it is a battle space. And most of you know that. Because there's a fight. You fight for money. You fight for resources. You fight for influence. But at the end of the day, you know, the U.S. military, you know, you, we know what the road is. You, you got, there's a right and left lateral limit, and there's a principal direction of attack, there's an axis of advance, and you drive down the road. And, and we're not going to deviate right or left. We know where the path is. We took that oath. 
with no expiration date to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and domestic to bear true faith and allegiance to the same, regardless of what's on the news or who's talking or what news channel you watch or what's going on in the country. This is, we're a meritocracy. You perform, you're a Marine, you're committed, you earn the title, follow the path. And that's what we're trying to do. Follow the path that many of you set for us and through your distinguished service. And we really, really appreciate that. So it's my honor and privilege to serve as, as, as the Commandant. Uh, we have our challenges, but you know, whenever I get discouraged, um, and you can get discouraged in the city of Washington, uh, then you got to go out to the operating force of the Marine Corps and see young men and women are out there willing to train hard, do the things they do, some of the capabilities we have and the, and the, and the things that we do that we take for granted, you know, flying long distances, aero refueling, very dangerous missions in the dark of night, uh, using technology to assure our allies and deter our adversaries and if necessary to do more than just deter them. And I know you'd be very, very proud of them as I am. And so um, for the young Marines that are here tonight or those that are on active duty here tonight, there's a lot of great Marines that you need, you're obligated to go around and make your manners on these folks and introduce yourself. And, and then for those here that have, that have are no longer serving actively, but you're still Marines. There's no such thing as a former Marine. You're a Marine until we put you in the ground. And uh, then you're still a Marine. <laughs> it never ends. There is no, like I said, there is no expiration date. I'd ask you to take the time after you see your old friends and get together and, and uh, tell a lot of baloney stories that are get bigger as the years go on, <laughs> that you'll go around and introduce yourself or when these young Marines come up, talk to them and ask them about why they join, why they're here, and you'll, I think you'll be reinvigorated about the young men and women that serve our Corps today. So, again, thank you so much for the invitation, General Myatt, sir. Thank you, sir, for uh, being who you are and doing what you've done. And uh, thanks for being my Division CG, General Johnson, sir. Thank you for being a, a great example for all of us of what it is to be a consummate professional and gentleman every day. So we have one thing left to do. Now, the band, you know, we were sing, there were people singing the national anthem, which I think is really wonderful. But whenever the band plays the Marine hymn, everybody just stands there and does nothing. So we got to sing the Marine hymn. I'm not joking. <laughs> so no music. So all Marines, please stand. Only the first verse. Because I, I don't want to embarrass... I don't want to embarrass anybody that went to Paris Island. All right. On three. One, two, three. From the halls of Montez to Luma, to the shores of Tripoli, we will fight our country's battles in the air on land and sea. First Happy birthday, Marines.